Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing fabulous. Um, Shabbat Shalom, actually. I'm recording this on Shabbat. If you don't know what Shabbat is, it is the Sabbath. And uh, I love Jehovah Elohim with all my heart, with all my strength, with all my soul. My channel is a lot different than probably what you're used to. I'm not a religious channel at all, um, but I am for uprightness and truth and keeping the covenant because it's part of my lineage. I do have a, a lineage of a, a Hebraic lineage. And so we are told to keep the Shabbat and the commandments uh, for all our generations and things like that so on the Shabbat if I do any, any recording it all goes to the glory of our great king who runs the whole universe and uh, anyway he is Yeshua I kiss his son that walked among us in the flesh and I like to say that um, on my channel to let you know who I am and who I uh, uh, confess and things like that I'm a very intense channel I get up in war for the kingdom I'm not ashamed uh, to get up in war because Jehovah teaches our hands how to do that. We are uprooting wickedness. Uh, he uproots, casts down, throws out whatever he wants to do, and he does it by the uh, by the hand of his people that he lives and moves and breathes within and things like that. So anyway, welcome to my channel. You'll just have to learn me as we go. I'm myself. I show all sides of who I am. I go through real life situations and um, I'm for justice and things like that. So you'll just see all kinds of uh, things on my channel at random. The good, the bad, the ugly, the nasty, all of it. Um, tears, joy, testimonies, um, hardcore criminal activity is normally what I'm focusing on when I am reading the tarot. Things like that. So stick around. You'll learn me as we I'm glad to have you. Otherwise, thanks for checking me out. You gotta go away. Yesterday, um, so the night before last, I got on my spoon audio channel and I was literally in tears. Now, understand that I'm always in my inner core is at peace. I'm grieved at the things that uh, has taken place, not only with me, but I'm a part of a soul group collective, and the the messages and the conversations that I've had with some of you all on the other end of this thing uh, that you've shared with me that has been very similar to things that I've went through. I grieve at what I have experienced and seen in the earth today because we really are in prophecy and a lot of people have went through just the ringer and back and uh, we're in tribulation because in this world we have tribulation but Christ stated that he overcame the world and uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous but Jehovah will deliver us out of them all so um, you all just keep on going, even in your tears, even if, if you get on like I do on my YouTube channel, I just, ah, I just, uh, just, you know, show that, you know, uh, emotional side, um, as a human being in the earth, um, just to release um, and, and to let other people understand that you you also, if you're experiencing walking in the same shoes as I am, you're not alone. And I know that I'm not either because I hear it from the other side when I have uh, gotten in contact with uh, some of you all. But the other night I got on, it was the night before last, uh, I got on my Spoon audio channel and I was, I was crying and I just told some of my story on there uh, to people who don't maybe know who might find that um audio platform and i just felt led to do it i that day i had just been so grieved in my spirit and i cried for my grandbabies and things like that and uh, just people in my life in general and just the whole situation that's went down and and so um the next morning i got up and um there was something that took place with me that um Jehovah relieved some things in my heart about uh i got up yesterday and i only worked for a few hours uh i do delivery work and in and out of the weather um i was just kind of feeling some snipples and stuff like that um and so I, I needed to also take care of some other things and something that was able to come to me to be able to uh, go get an oil change on my vehicle, which I was so grateful for. And I checked all my fluids and tires and stuff like that. And so before I began to go to work, I stopped in at this certain place and got that taken care of. After I got that taken care of, I turned on... Um, uh, my phone to let um, them know that I was ready for deliveries and um, so I was doing some deliveries and my last delivery that I did it sent me like way 
out of the city from where I have been staying. I mean, you know, if you're doing, uh, you know, 12 or 13, 14, oh, actually it was 20 minutes on the, it was 20 minutes highway miles. And so you can understand that 20 minutes, even on the highway going 65, 70 miles an hour, that's a, that's, that was a long delivery. And I thought, my gosh, you're telling me you don't have any deliveries out in that area? <laughs> But I was just like, okay, well, you you go before us. You prepare the way. I felt good because my vehicle got tended to and, and things like that. And so I just, I went way out on this delivery. And the, something so amazing took place. You talk about being at the right place at the right time. Just for, just being at the right place at the right time in meeting somebody. I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> I get to this place. And I noticed that my phone charger, it wasn't working. And I just so happened to deliver at a place that is connected to vehicles and, and things like that, where you can go, it was a part store. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I, I guess my, because I plugged in my old um, little charger. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe the charger itself just stopped working. I just have to purchase another one because they're not that expensive. And so... And I have to have it for my job because orders come through my phone. So I got to keep my charge up on my phone. So I went in and I asked them if they had it. And they were like, yeah. And they took me to it and I bought it. And I went back in. I plugged it in it and it didn't work. Well, I went back in. I was like, it, 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 this isn't working. And they said, well, it's probably a fuse. I'm standing at the counter talking about this. And this lady walks up and she has fuses in her hands. And she said, I'm here exactly for the same exact reason why she's here. My 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 charger in my, in my car is not working. She said, it was really weird. She said, I went to go have my oil change at this certain place, which was exactly the same place a business that I went to, which was miles away from where she went to. Okay. So we both went to the same exact place, miles different from one another. And after she went there for her oil change, her, um, her plug in for her charger, uh, in the cigarette charger uh, thing where you plug it in at stop working. Same as me. <laughs> I stayed, and she goes, and I, I, she goes, I need to get on the road, she said, because I, I deliver for a da-da-da-da-da company, and I go, I also deliver for that company. We had the exact, talk about, that, that that's unheard of, people. That's unheard of. Two people doing the same exact job for the same company, having the same exact uh, problem with a, a phone charger going to the same exact place, meeting at the same place for the same cause. There was something to it for nothing else other than we ended up chit chatting and, uh, you know, we actually exchanged phone numbers just for the cause itself. Also told her I was homeless. She also was homeless as well. Uh, it was amazing, people. It was amazing. But, you know, I, I, I got in my car after I began to head back to the city. And it was as if Yehovah says, you know, and really nothing even came out of it except for the experience of that itself. Because I, I, I uh, know that Yehovah goes before us. And it wasn't for not. It was for Yehovah saying, I'm with you. Even to the degree that somebody literally mirrored the situation in, in every single aspect of the situation, it was there. It gave me such courage, such hope. I was able yesterday, um, to, uh, somebody bless me where I could get, uh, some extra shirts. I was able to go into the Goodwill and uh, purchase a couple of, of shirts because I need them. And so I got a couple of sweat shirts and stuff like that. And um, I, I, I bought a couple of bags to put my clothes in because I had been putting them in boxes and, you know, plastic bags, which uh, if you're brand new, uh, something very, very horrific has taken place in my life um, because of nasties that have been in the earth. Uh, but Jehovah along the way has kept me because I am his daughter. And for whatever reason, why he has allowed me to walk this path it is for an example. Uh, the book of Isaiah tells us that me and my people are here for examples in the earth. And I know what lineage that I'm in and I know what hour I live in and being in prison houses and things like that is part of the prophecy where we, our people are finding ourselves. And um, I did a reading the night before last and Jehovah stated to, to open the prison doors. I literally just did a reading for today's general and Jehovah brought out, thus saith Jehovah, no more prison for my people. 
Okay, no more slavery for my people. Um, so, you know, understanding that Jehovah speaks so profoundly on this um, tower because it is his tower. He, 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 he is just a, a comfort to my soul because I was, I was just distraught the day before, the night before last when I was uh, recording on my audio channel. And I, that day, as I began to cry for my babies, um, I yelled out to Jehovah and I just screamed, where are you? But I know you're here. I see you show up all over the place when you're prophesying through me on the channel. And yet I'm distressed. Where are you? I mean, I was screaming at him. All, obviously I was just screaming out. I have respect for my King and, uh, I fear him. <laughs> so don't, don't get that mixed up. But in my frustration of just everything, I just, my God, that day was just a, a day of, oh my God type of stuff. And as you all know, who do follow me, I feel the energy to such a degree that when I'm feeling it, it is so heavy upon me. And, um, so that day I was screaming out that after I got done with that audio, I want to say it was afterwards. I don't remember when it was, but I f clicked on a video and, and some little commercial or something, you know, how, how they come on before you actually watch the video and you can push the skip button on the video. Somebody began to speak about exactly what I did in my prayer, in my frustration out to Jehovah, help me. You know, I need help. I know you see me and I know that you're just, and I need to know you, that you've seen everything that's taken place and you're going to let the wicked sit there and, and have a home and have shelter and have their food. And yet people who are serving you, you, you you're really going to let them just literally just, just be in this place of, you know, where's my next meal or, or, um, you know, you know, our finances, you know, where are they? Because they've made us poor and yet we're rich. You really going to sit there and I'm going to have to sit here and watch the, the wicked and the rich do nasty towards your people that you have blessed. And yet I'm, I know you're with me, but yet it says you're, you're here and yet you're away. It is just uh, one of those kind of energies that I was going through. And somebody began to speak in one of those little commercials about how uh, she screamed out at God. <laughs> And, uh, and things like that. And, you know, also I'll often be very personal with Jehovah every day, but just really just in moments like that. And it's just, boom, it, it's like a breakthrough when I get to that place. And he literally did a breakthrough the very next morning for me. Um, something beautiful took place where I was able to, he cared for me and he gave me some more clothes and he was able to allow me to have, um, uh, shelter that has been uh, paid for for the next uh, four days. And I know that more provision will come in as well uh, as I continue to work and things like that. Um, but I just wanted to share that even in your frustration, guys, if you just be so honest with Jehovah, and obviously we walk an honest uh, life before him, but even in those moments, don't be afraid to just cry out to him because he really does hear our cry. And uh, why he uh, wants us to, to cry out like that, I don't know. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts, like he states in the book of Isaiah. Um, but he is here for us. His name is Yeshua. His name is salvation. If, if we have many afflictions, then his name has to be cried out upon so he can save in those moments. He's never failed me, even, even though I've been so stretched up again. It's like, I know you've never failed me, Jehovah, but here I am again. You know, and it's like, and here I am again, he says, you know, and he comes in. I um, got settled in to where I'm at and uh, looked out the window this morning and it snowed and he opened the treasures of heaven and he's allowed it to snow and snow can be also traced back to mercy as well. And that's a very, when I see the snow, I see mercy covered over the land. <laughs> and uh, it's the first thing that I, uh, I had comfort in this morning. I slept so good last night. He gave me such good rest last night as well. And then I woke up on this day of rest, which is the beautiful Shabbat, which is our sign between us and him. And he tells us that surely goodness, surely it's a for sure word. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. How much is all, all 
of them. If we're keeping the commandment, no evil thing will touch us. No, nothing, nothing will harm us if we are keeping the commandment. That doesn't mean that we don't cry. It doesn't mean that we don't go through things that uh, we don't understand at times. We don't lean unto man. We don't lean uh, unto our own understanding, but we just acknowledge Jehovah and he makes the path straight. And he did that for me. And, and I just have to give a testimony um, because uh, that's what I do on this channel. Um, I know you guys have seen me struggle and yet you've also seen me have victory through the struggle and I know that you guys as well are being kept by the great Elohim. He's got the whole world in his hand and uh, all the heaven of heavens and the earth belongs to him, they and they that dwell therein. He is the governor of the nations and his people are high above the nations uh, is what he's called us to be a peculiar people and which uh, the word peculiar goes back to uh, this is my property he says. You touch my property, it's like poking me in the eye. And uh, people have done that to me, and uh, uh, you hope it's going to bring justice. He says, that those who wait upon him, they shall not be ashamed. And I have waited, and I have waited, and I have waited. And he keeps bringing out justice, justice, justice will occur. And I, I do trust that, that it will. And um, it, 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 I, I just declare and decree it's now. It's time for it. You hope it just brought out no more no more slavery for his people. So therefore, I just uh, I trust that that no more slavery is is for me anymore or you. Uh, one more thing. Uh, I I had a beautiful day yesterday and I ended up after I got settled in where I am staying, I went down to the little convenience store to just gas up again so that when I do go back to work, um, that you know I don't have to stop in there that day and just get up and go. Um, and I, as I was in there, I was speaking with the gentleman who was because uh, I got me a salad. And uh, I was speaking with that gentleman who was so kind to me. And we just began to just speak just off the wall stuff. And right before I left, he handed me an extra food that was in the, the bin there. And I go, you don't, you don't have to do that. And he goes, I want to. And he gave to me. And I was walking out the door and, and I heard Jehovah say what I just stated. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow thee all the days of your life. And uh, Jehovah has been good to me. And yesterday he just made it a point to be, I don't know, just uh, even more tangible. You know, it's, we have days where we're just, it's just a normal day, but after crying out as I did the night before, he literally is as if he covered me. And um, I just wanted to share it with you all. So those of you all who have also cried out or you need to cry out in your frustration even to Yulva and just say, I, tr I trust you, but where are you? Or I need to see something tangible today. You watch him come through for you because he will. Because he loves you and he loves me. And uh he wants to rescue because that is his name. And I just want to share that for Shabbat. And I bless you all. Um, keep your head up and uh, give all praise, glory, and honor to the one who breathes his, his breath inside of you. Uh, he is the reason why we live. Shalom.